We're in the rib cage, leading to the waterfall, and we're in. Oh no way! Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're going down to see Mr. Leeds. Okay, we're gonna rip off some food off his flesh somehow. And so, Paulina Punchwood, the heroine of our story, mother of dinos, hopefully someday, maybe friend of the apes, and all around dynamite gal, did hope to find a uh, hair salon today because the hair was getting kind of long and unkempt, and the bangs were hanging down over her eyes, and her peripheral vision was hampered, and things can sneak up on you when you're not, uh, when you don't have any peripheral vision, like that little guy right there, the Pestomax. Oh, Pesto Max, Paulina. Watch this. Oh, I want to get this little guy. That's the thief. Yeah, I think it's called a Pego, Pego Mastax. Watch, here he comes. Just pretend you don't see him, Paulina. Oh, he, oh, he got him. Wow. He took 25, 25 berries and that's it. Achievement unlocked. Our first dino, <laughs> Paulina. Punchwood's first dino, the mother of dinos. Oh, you are a pesto. We're going to call you pesto. Pesto like the, uh, the sauce like that you put on, um, on pasta. Right? And sandwiches, I guess, and stuff like that. And it's kind of like Presto, because he's kind of he's part of he's kind of like a magician. I can't believe it took one shot. Wow. Alright, well, welcome. You are the first dinosaur of the mother of dinos. Pesto? Alright, follow me. Fast pickpocketing. Yeah, so this is a little thief that probably has more use in multiplayer than it does in single player. Right? Like, I think that's its primary uh, purpose in life is to steal from other players. But since Paulina here is all alone on this arc, then uh, we're just going to have to have a little pet for ourselves. Now, what do you do? Oh, you go on the shoulder? Oh, wow. You're a big dude, but he fits okay right there. <laughs> okay, Pesto. <laughs> oh, Pesto's pretty cool. I wish Pesto would steal other things, though. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got the, the glasses. The nerdry glasses goes on a saddle. Um, unfortunately, hold on, get this guy off my back. Get off my back! How, how do you... F, right, okay. Uh, let's see, can we put anything on you? No. No, there's no saddle slot on this little guy, obviously. Um, and we can't put the glasses on him. Well, that's too bad. Alright, get on my back. Alright, hop back up there, pesto! Okay. Now, um, so Paulina here was just crafting up a... Smithy, before I get started here, we're finally working on the metals, and all right, right there is good, I suppose. So, Paulina did a bunch of stuff off camera so that uh, we can make a little bit of progress, but I don't want her to progress too far, and then you guys will miss out on all the uh, all the evolution, which is kind of fun, I guess, in a way. But it's hard for me to not play on the weekends and stuff when I don't record. So, I try to refrain from getting too far ahead. Because I'd like to do this stuff together if possible. But now we can make metal tools and weapons. And we should be able to make a crossbow now too, yes. But we gotta get some metal today. Yeah, alright, well we can do that. But let's get back to the hair issue, huh? So it's kind of cool that the hair just keeps growing. We started out with, um, with a shaved head. And now it's getting kind of long. I don't know if it gets any longer than that. But yeah, Pauline is gonna stuff that hair inside... The safari hat for now so that she has her peripheral vision back. Alright, which we do need here because you don't want to get snuck up on, right? We'll take Arcturia over there. I know we saw some metal there once before. But we'll have to keep our eyes open for that big old mean fish. Which, by the way, turns out to be a... I wrote this down. Leeds Ichthys. Which literally means Leeds Fish. And Leeds apparently is the name of the guy that discovered... The first big old mean fish. Bones, anyway. And the thing hates rafts, apparently, but it's... Otherwise, I guess it's... Friendly. Now, I wonder if it'll attack the raft if it's parked on the shore. Uh-oh. Yeah, if it sees this raft, it's gonna come right for it. It gets super aggressive and angry about it. So, we're gonna try to park it over here, and hopefully it doesn't get stuck on the shore. Alright, that looks good. That looks good. And wasn't there some metal around here somewhere? Oh, you know what? It's a little bit farther. It's on that hill over there. That, uh... That cliffside. 
All right, let's get over to the shore over here. Oh, there's some metal right up there, right? Now, apparently there's a cave behind that waterfall that many of you had mentioned um, in the last episode in the comments. So we'll check that out today. I don't know if we'll make a base there. I, I do like... Oh, there's a lot of metal here. Wow. Um, I like bases on the beach. I like bases in the sun. I'm not particularly fond of underground bases, at least not an arc. But maybe we'll make a uh, maybe we'll make a little secret hideout in there. All right, I'm gonna grab a bunch of metal and then we'll reconvene and we'll make up some metal tools and metal weapons and then we'll go out and have us a bit of an adventure. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Check out first mate Pesto. <laughs> Oh, he loves riding on Paulina's back. It's so nice to have a, a pet. Our first dino in uh, on Ragnarok. That's fantastic and totally unexpected. I didn't think it was going to be that easy to tame one. I wasn't really inter that interested in one, to be honest, because they, they seem kind of useless. Oop, I forgot the metal. Um, yeah, I got about 100 metal ore here, so let's get this cranking up. 100 metal, and we'll drop some of the stones off inside the house. Yeah, this is great. So I did a, a little bit of work off camera. Like I said earlier, I don't want to get too far ahead um, because I want to do this together. I want to take this journey with you guys and have Paulina evolve over time uh, with you. So we get to see all her uh, trials and tribulations and fun adventures. All right, I can't make anything useful right now. We're going to need some hides. So let's go hunting. We'll go hunting and let's check out that um, let's check out that cave. I'm curious to see what's in there. Yeah, let's go do that right now. We'll take Arctoria over and hopefully uh, Mr. Leeds doesn't see us on our raft. I haven't seen Mr. Leeds in a while. Now what is that right there? Is that a rock? Or is that dead Mr. Leeds? I hope it's not Mr. Leeds that's okay. Oh something here like is there like a shipwreck oh gosh what is that oh it's mr. Leeds oh you he's down here this is a trap he set it up oh let's get to the shore quick I didn't see him down there yeah that's the guy that's the guy and there go the boxes with uh, whatever I had in there just a bunch of wood should be easy to replace yeah, one hit, and he, and he ruins everything, practically. Oh, campfire's still there. That's nice. We're going to pull in over here. Mr. Leeds can't go this far, can he? I don't think so. Whoa! Down the river. Yeah, I don't think he can get over here. So we should be safe in the uh, in the shallows. We'll park it right here. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Looks good. Okay, everything's been damaged, though, huh? Well, the campfire's okay. Yeah, I think Mr. Leeds set that trap up for any would-be uh, sailors to come by so he could wreck their raft. But apparently he does not go after um, humans. Let's make a new crate. Something, Something's coming. Something's coming. Oh, Toidle, don't sneak up on me like that, but you are beautiful. Oh, I love that pipe. Level 130 male turtle. Oh, you know what? You're awesome. Oh, you want to come home with Paulina? He wants to get on the raft. All right. How hard is it to tame a giant turtle? I don't think I've ever tamed a giant turtle. Paulina's never done that before. Hey, maybe we'll do that today if we don't find a Triceratops. But one thing at a time. One thing at a time. I want to get... I want to go see what's behind that... Um, behind the waterfall. And then maybe we'll come back and get this turtle before somebody eats him. The T-Rex that was here in the last episode cleared out the beaches. He just wrecked everybody and then left. Alright, let's level up Pesto the Pego Max or whatever it is. Let's give him some health. So we can take a punch or two. You like that? Good. Alright, now get up on my back. Get back on Paulina's back. And I'm really thinking about taming this guy right now. This could be a very good spot to do it. Um, the only thing I'm worried about 
is maybe those hyenas that were over here. The hyena dons that attacked Paulina in the last episode. Remember them? It was a pack of four or five of the darn things. Uh, do I have any... I don't have any narco on me. Got 25 arrows. You know what? Let's, let's run back right quick. I'm not even going to take the boat. And grab our narco. And uh, maybe make a crossbow. Can we make a crossbow without hides? I think so. Be very quiet. We're hunting T-Rex. <laughs> Actually, no we're not. But there he is. Not just the T-Rex, but also the two Allosaurus. One of which is a... Uh, not an alpha, but a pack leader. That's what that orange flame is on the back there. So apparently that means that it's the leader of the pack and it gets some kind of damage bonus. It does like 50% more damage. It does 25% less. takes 25% less damage. It has some kind of extra attack that can um, slow and bleed the target out. Um, and it has some kind of special roar. Now, I don't know if they do all that on their own or if they have to be tamed. What do you think, Pesto? You don't know. Um, but we're not going to mess with them right now. Because that is a level one, level 130 Allosaurus. And as long as they're way over there, away from us, then we're all good. We can all live in peace and harmony as long as we all stay to our own um, territories. Now, we're going to have to move up here a bit to do some hunting. Because Paulina here is looking for something with hides. But unfortunately, these, uh, these predators have killed everything. Oh, here we go. One of these big guys. Oh, I don't really want to kill this guy. I know he's not going, going to attack back. Level 55 mush shots. Probably got a lot of hides on him. Yeah, you're right. Probably has a lot of hides. Uh, okay, well, sorry, mush shops. I'm very sorry, but we need your hides. So we're going to try to get some headshots in here. It's not very fast. We can outrun him probably, huh? Oh, shoot. This is the T-Rex over there. Don't, don't, don't run toward the T-Rex, you fool. Thank you. Thank you. Come on back. By the way, we have a uh, crossbow now. Paulina went back home. Whipped up a crossbow with some of the metal that we made. And Oh, I missed. Killed that rock, though. And um, we also got some narco ready, too, for taming. Because she didn't have any before. Dude, how many shots is this going to take? This is terrible. Look like a pin cushion. There we go. Level 55. Get some of those arrows back, maybe. And what are we up to? 20? Oh, that's not bad. We only lost four arrows and all that. Okay, hides. Uh, hides. Hides. Axe. Axe for hides? Axe for hides, yes. Now we can make a metal spear. Ooh, look at all the hides. Yeah, impressive. Hop on there. Now let's get out of here before that T-Rex shows up. He's like right over there. Sniffing around, looking for Paulina. He's had Paulina sent before. Oh, there he is. Oh, those are the Allosaurus. You know, how come the Allosaurus and the T-Rex don't fight? I wish the Predators would fight. Not only would it clear some of them out, but it would be awesome to sit back and watch that happen. Let's make the spear, make a metal pick, and a metal hatchet. Well, I think what I'm going to do is take a quick break. I'm going to have some lunch and then come back. And I think we're going to go check out that, uh, that cave. Why are you shaking? There we go. That's better. Uh, we'll check out what's behind that cave. And I would like to swim out to Mr. Leeds and uh, pet him. Apparently, you can pull meat right off of him or something. <laughs> as long as we're not in the raft, he should be fine. So, yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Give me, uh, give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. And we're back. And why is Pesto's butt in Paulina's face? Pesto, what are you doing? So I guess that's what happens when you log off with a, uh, a dinosaur on your back, huh? Oh, 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 hold up. Hold up. I see it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's level this guy up. There we go. Give you some more health so you don't die so easily in case you get et. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Paulina's got everything she needs for this very short adventure. I think this will be the last thing we get to do today, and that is go check out that waterfall and see what's behind it. Got a lot of folks in the uh, comments in the last episode saying to check it out for a potential location for a base, but... 
I don't think I want to live underground. Paulina likes the beach. She likes the sunshine. So we might build like a, maybe like a panic room base there. A place to go uh, in case we die and we need a place to, to spawn. So I'm thinking that's probably what we'll do over here. But let's check it out first. I'm getting ahead of myself. And I'm thinking I'm going to float right up with Arcturia? I don't know. Let's try. There is some water here. It's super shallow, but maybe we can... Can we sque squeeze this through there, Paulina? We're going to try. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really shallow here, but you know what? This thing goes just about anywhere. You don't need much water. Oh, man. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Oh, this is great. Check it out. Oh, that's so cool. Now, oh, man, it's really dark here. We're going to need some torches. We're in. We're in the rib cage, leading to the waterfall, and we're in. Oh, no way. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love it. Look at this. How deep is it here? Oh, man. I wonder if there's any uh, predators in here, any hostile critters in the water. Oh, there's like a... That's just a fish you can catch and eat, right? I don't think it's hostile. Oh, dude, we can fish in here? There's a new fishing pole item. Well, I don't know how new it is, but I know you can make a fishing pole. What is that? Under the water. Holy smokes, it's like a big jawbone. <laughs> well, whatever lived here before is now gone, I hope. I wonder if Mr. Leeds knows about these bones. Maybe these are the bones that Mr. Leeds found. And that's the big old fish. Big old mean Leeds. Mr. Leeds. Oh, check it out. All right, so we got a ramp going up here, guys. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Oh, look at the rib cages built right into the uh, into the ceiling. That's interesting. Let's get to the top. Nice and flat up here. Sure, you could build a base up here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to live underground. It's kind of noisy in here too, but it wouldn't be bad for a place to put a uh, a panic room base, just a a bed. Or a sleeping bag to spawn in. And you know what? I don't have my highs. I left them in the smithy. Dang it. I was going to say we can put a, um, a, a sleeping bag right here now. Well, we'll come back and do that. Maybe I'll bring some wood. Since we can float right up, it'll be easy bringing building supplies in here. We'll build up a little shack. Although it seems relatively safe. There's no, like, killer bats or scorpions or anything nasty in here. Kind of nice. Yeah, we'll just put a place in here that we can uh, go to and we just want to get away from everything with teeth and claws and stingers. <laughs> Very peaceful. Now I'm curious about what's in the water though. Maybe there's like piranhas in here. And so much for being peaceful, huh? Alright, well there's bones down here. You don't bite, do you? No, this is like a prehistoric salmon. It is a salmon. Oh, it's a saber-toothed salmon. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't get so close. I don't even know what that is. He's about as afraid of Paulina as Paulina is afraid of him, though. He turned right around, didn't he? Sabertooth salmon. Alright, I wonder if we can catch a sabertooth salmon on a fishing pole. Let's make a fishing pole and see if we can do some fishing in here. Cave fishing would be pretty awesome. It's pretty bright in here, too. Let's make a fitting pole. Oh, I don't even know how to make a fitting pole yet, so let's do this. Fitting pole, that's what my daughter used to call them when she was little. Yeah, I don't have the materials. What am I missing? Uh, wood. Okay, tell you what, we won't be doing any fishing right now. Okay, we'll come back here with some building materials. We'll build up a little base for uh, spawning. And maybe do some fishing back here. But I think for now we're just going to call it quits. Oh, there's a little saber-toothed salmon. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I love that you can literally just float right in. That'd be a great safe place to put Arctoria away from Mr. Leeds. We're gonna have to get rid of some of these rocks though. All right, guys, we're back. And as you can see here, Paulina is now in her, uh, her bikini because I'm thinking we're gonna go catch up to Mr. Leeds and uh, have, a, have a, a close up. I really wanna see him up close. And I want to, uh, I want to pull some flesh off his bones. Apparently you can do that. But I don't want to lose anything in case we die to something out there. So Pauline is going to go in with just about nothing. 
Now, uh, Pesto, I want you to stay here. It's pretty safe up here in these rocks, I think. So let's give the all stay command. There we go. And you're going to stay, right? Okay, as long as I have my keys set up, it should be all right. Yeah, I don't see any predators around. I think he'll be fine. Now, Mr. Leeds, last time we saw him, he was way over there, huh? Oh, man, that's going to be a super long swim. I have no idea what's down there. We may not even We might not even make it to him. Well, you know what? There's a turtle here. He'll protect us. He'll protect you, Paulina. Go! Did it. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's just a megalodon. That's nothing. That's just a giant shark. Oh, gosh. Here he comes. Get out of the water. Oh, it's so deep here. Get dropped so quickly. Ah! Yeah, leap! Whoo! Turtle! Turtle, would you distract that shark for us, please? Is he gonna do it? Let's see. Let's see. Where is that megalodon? Oh, man, there's a manta down here, too. And they're pretty aggressive. Oh, we're never gonna make it down there to see uh, Mr. Leeds. Oh, I think I see him! Oh, there is a ship down there! You see the mast? Oh, it's cold! Water be cold, too. This is a super bad idea. <laughs> oh, man. But you know what? What do we have to lose? You don't lose skill. The only thing you lose is what you carry and if you die. We don't really have much. But look at all the mantas and the sharks. Oh. And it's cold. Whoa! What's that? What was that? If I take the raft out there, Mr. Leeds is going to attack it. And that's the whole point of going swimming. Yeah, Mr. Leeds is just sitting on the bottom down there waiting for a ship to come and check out that shipwreck. That's what it looks like to me. Paulina can't really hold her breath very long either. That's a problem. Put the spare down. I think we can swim faster. Oh, what is that stuff leaking up? Is that like an oil spill? So far, so good. So far, so good. Is there a rock we can stand on here or something? Oh, it is. It's like an oil spill. Ooh. Okay, we're on our own now. The turtle is not in the water. Oh, I see Mr. Leeds' tail. Let's get to him, quick. Oh, I can hear him. <gasps> I can hear him. See him down there? Oh, he's so awesome. He's huge. Come on, swim, Paulina. We're almost to the rock. We get on that rock, we're in safe... Safe waters, I was going to say. <laughs> Almost there, girl. Yes! All right, we made it this far. Whew. All right. We can stop here, catch our breath. And I don't think any megalodons can get us on the rock. I don't know. All right, where is he? Oh, look at him. He's amazing. All right, big, big breath. Let's get our energy back here, too. Hold on. Eat. You eat in the water? Oh, I'm not really standing. Still floating. Oh, there we go. Okay. Eat. Drink. Energy's coming back. Drop a load. I want to be nice and light for this last bit of a swim. And here we go. Here we go. Water's so cold this time of year. Oh, Manta. Oh, drat. Manta's right in the way. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, this is so exciting. It's scary, even though I know we're not going to really lose much. If Paulina dies. But you know what? She comes right back. That's how it works here. It's magic. It's a magical land. She doesn't really die. Okay, we're going down to see Mr. Leeds. And we're going to rip off some food off his flesh. Somehow. Oh, this is bad. We're so deep. <laughs> Alright, grab his food. Hi, buddy. Oh, let's see his face quick. Oh, look at that ship. It's amazing. Oh, listen to him. Female, it's a girl. Level one. She's just a little baby. And she gave me something. Oh, gave us fish flesh. Pulled it right off of her. Oh, oh gosh. What is that? Oh, something. No. Oh, it's a. Uh, some... It's a. Oh, it's a bug. And we're drowning. Paulina just. <laughs> Look at her floating down. She's sinking. Ms. Leeds, help Paulina. Us girls gotta stick together. Oh. Okay. Miss Leeds. I'm not too happy with Miss Leeds right now, I gotta say. Sleeping bag. Where's the sleeping bag at? The bed's in the home. A sleeping bag? 
All right, well, let's go to the sleeping bag. I'm not sure where that is. I guess it's in the old... It's in our old house? Oh, it's up here, right. Yeah, this is a perfect place for a sleeping bag. Is it safe? There's nobody up here that will hurt us. And, and there it goes, right? Is it one use only? I think it's one use only. All right, well, she's fine. See, guys, she's okay. All good. None the worse for wear. And now we just have to swim back... Uh, back home, which is right there. <laughs> and with that, I think we're going to call it quits. That was exciting. I'm, I'm glad we got to see Miss Leeds. It's Miss Leeds. Wee! Not Mr. Leeds. And I know we can't tame Miss Leeds, but maybe we can visit her again in the future. We get, like, scuba gear. We just have to be a little stronger, a little better equipped. And, uh, we'll try that in the future. Alright, we're going to... Warm up by the fire a bit and then go get all our gear. Paulina's gear is still over by, uh, it's on the raft, so go on. Let's warm up by the fire, girl, but don't get too close. It's super hot. We never got that haircut, did we? Nope. All right. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.